So here we are, I've arrived in Bruges. It's really easy to get here from Brussels. And so far it's awesome. I'm about to head into the center, check in with you from there. So here we are in one of the oldest squares in Bruges. The city started to expand as uh, it became an tra important trading post, so they started gaining lots of money and it started to become a bustling major place. And it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. là-bas à l'intérieur il se trouve une fameuse sculpture faite par Michel-Ange il s'agit là de la maison des enfants de la Vierge des Morts et deuxièmement dans cette église il se trouve aussi encore les deux tombes ornées de Marie de Bourgogne et Charles le Téméraire Have a look to the right behind this le mari à l'eau vous voyez de perdre le mari ou le copain on ne sait jamais hein dans le lac d'amour qui se trouve euh, derrière la maison, hein, tu peux le voir. Hein. Lock gate, imagine that we could jump over. Là, derrière, il y a des petites euh, maisons blanches où vivent toujours quelques sœurs, quelques religieuses, très très sages, yeah. surtout. Some sisters, hein, nuns, staying there, of the order of Saint Benedict. You can see them, they are sitting in front of the houses and then they, they make lace by hand. Hein. Vous verrez les sœurs, elles se trouvent là-bas, oui devant leur maison et là caméra avec vous avec vous contact moment yeah have a good camera with you digital yeah you can take the picture of the tower of the belfry la tour du beffroi the arms houses poor houses i told you that the city has been very poor arms houses were small houses little houses built by rich people here 17 for the poor people and for the older people. La bonne gueule, the statue of Van Eyck, painter Van Eyck in green. There you can see the hall, there you can see the tunnel in the left corner there. So this home here, which is currently under renovation, belonged to a very rich family. I had a 
monopoly on the ingredients to make beer. And there's a little lamb there just under the center of the coat of arms, which is the knight, the order of knights that's still active today. They had a private entrance into the church because they were so wealthy. <laughs> Uh, this was a place where, uh, for 900 years, uh, monks and nuns have come to uh, to help the uh, the sick and the needy. So anybody then who needed food, or beds, or medical care, they could all just come here and live here, um, and sorry, and get it for free, their medical care. So we're in the women's <laughs> convent area. In medieval times, single women would come and live here after their husbands would go off to the crusades and die. Today you can still live here, you have to meet two requirements, you have to be single and a woman. So the reason why there's so many swans here is that back in the day uh, when the king of Austria, Maximilian, was here, they captured him because they didn't like him very much and they kept him in the tower in the main city center for four months locked up and they killed his advisor, who was known as Peter the Long Neck. And so as a punishment he made them have long neck geese, or swans I should say, sorry, as a punishment to forever remember what they did, remind them what they did. All right, the people are now in the beautiful, the uh, construction started in 1250. It took them 200 years to finish. And this church is famous for beauty. One of them is a statue found inside by Michelangelo. It's not only child. It's the only statue by Michelangelo to ever leave Italy during his lifetime. So this street here is known as the Street of the Blind Donkey. There was a war between Ghent and here. Uh, the Ghent army eventually won and they took prize home. It was a golden dragon off the top of a church. And they, when they tried to escort it out of here on a donkey, the donkey wouldn't, wouldn't go past the gate. He had never left the gate. This is the gate at the, uh, the boundaries of the city walls. And so they burned his eyes out. Uh, to get him to to actually not realize he was leaving and he left. So it's called the, the uh, Street of the Blind Donkey. There are several famous statues here. This one is Mary with baby Jesus. Baby Jesus is holding a pen. Mary's holding a, a jar of ink. There's a famous story here about someone who was being condemned for execution and she came to his rescue. But you'll have to discover that for yourself. There is this guy here, uh, the first Duke of uh, Bruges. He killed the first inhabitant, the story goes, which is a brown bear, which is over there. Uh, he was so strong that he wedged a, a sword directly into the bear and killed it. So that's why he's holding his arm there. And the rest of these are just dukes and other famous people. Now this building here is Roman architecture and supposedly it holds the blood of Jesus Christ. The story goes there was some wealthy duke I guess who had gone during the Crusades to fight. He had done so well the king of Jerusalem gave him a gift which is supposedly the blood of Jesus Christ. So we'll see if we can go inside now.